Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add new weapon slots to Survival Game Kit V2. So to get started we're going to search for E underscore weapon slots in the content browser, open that up, and in here we're going to click add enumerator, then once that pops up you can change the name to third or whatever you like, then we're going to go back to the showcase and we're going to hit play, this might take a second to load just let it do its thing. Now you may or may not get errors here, that's fine, just click cancel. If you don't get errors, that's fine as well. So we're going to move on to the next step. We'll go to the character equipment. I'm going to open up the BP character equipment here. So in here we're going to be duplicating our primary weapon slot here. So we'll just right click that and do duplicate. Then you can just move it wherever you like. You can spend more time organizing this and getting it how you like, but I'm just going to kind of stick mine here for now. Then over here we have some customization settings. So you can set your uh, slot image. So this is the image that will be used when nothing is equipped in the slot. You can set the image that's used when an item is equipped in the slot as the background. You can uh, choose whether or not the slot uses the item's background color, and you can change the rotation as well. But the main settings that we're going to be changing here are the weapon slot type. We need to make sure that we change this to our third. And then the slot name you can set to whatever you like, but I'm going to set mine to third. And you should see it update the text there as well. Once that's done, we're going to rename this slot to third, uh, third slot, like that. Then we'll compile and go to the graph view, then begin play. We'll select this uh, make array node and hit the add pin. Then we're just going to grab the third slot from our My Blueprint panel and connect that up to there. And we'll compile and save this. Next, we're going to go back to the content browser and open up the EXT character equipment. So we'll open that up. We're going to do the exact same thing in here. So we're just going to duplicate the primary slot like that. I'm going to put mine sort of here. And we're going to rename it. So I'll just rename it to third slot like that. Then weapon type, we're going to change again to third and I'm going to change the slot name to third as well, like that. Then compile, head over to the graph view, begin play, add a new pin to this make array, and grab our third slot, and plug that in here. Then we can compile and save. Next, we're going to go back to the content browser, and we're going to search for the equipment uh, inventory. Open that up. And in here, we're going to find the weapon slots. You're going to find the primary weapon slot variable, right click it and do duplicate. And I'm going to call this third weapon slot. Now you may or may not get this uh, warning pop up. If you do, just click yes. Then we're going to compile. Then with our third weapon slot still selected over here, we're going to change it from replicated to none. Then compile again. Then change it to rep notify, then compile. Now you should see that it's created us a new function called onrep third weapon slot. So first we're going to go to the secondary weapon slot, open that up, and in here we're just going to copy all of this code, go to our third weapon slot, paste that in, connect it up to the beginning node, and then we're going to replace this second weapon slot with our third weapon slot, like that, and plug that in there, then compile. Next we're going to select our third weapon slot variable again. And in the default value, we're going to open that up and make sure equipment type is set to third. Then we've got the quick slot index. So this is the default quick slot that our weapon slot will use. Uh, zero would be the first quick slot, one would be the second, two would be the third, and so on. Now because uh, zero and one are already taken by our primary and secondary, I'm going to set mine to two. If you don't want yours to have a quick slot bound, you can set it to minus one, but I'm just going to leave mine as two. Then we'll compile. Next, in the My Blueprint panel, we're going to search for the Add User to Equipment Items and open that up. And in here, you should find a select node. I'm just going to move these nodes out of the way, and we need to connect our third uh, weapon slot to the third. So I'm just going to drag out from third and search for third, and you should see third weapon slot like that. And we can compile. Next, we're going to go to the Update Weapon Slot Item. So Update Weapon Slot Item, open that up. And in here, we're going to just copy all of these nodes here, paste them in down here, like that. Then we're going to connect this up to our third pin on the select node, on the switch node, sorry. Then down here, we're going to delete this node, drag out from our weapon slot inventory and search for third. And we want set third weapon slot, like that. 
then we'll grab the strap towel and plug that in here. Then over here, we're going to delete the second weapon slot, drag out from the inventory pin and search for third. We won't get third weapon slot and plug that in here like that. Next, we're going to search for begin play. So begin and open up the begin play. And over here, we've got another select node. So all we're going to do is just drag this down, drag out from third and search for third and create that node like that. Then compile. Then we're going to search for select weapon. Uh, we want, sorry, select weapon slot. There we go. Open that up. And in here, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to drag out from third and search for third like that. This function is called selected weapon slot, sorry, not select weapon slot. Then after we've done that, we can compile. Next, we're going to go back to our content browser and we're going to search for player inventory. Open that up. And in here, we're going to go to the event graph. We want to find the def slash respawn. Open that up. And in here, we've got some nodes here that basically reset our quick slot when the player uh, dies. So um, we're going to copy this node, paste it in over here, connect that up to here, and connect the end up to our current health node over here. Then we're going to copy these two nodes, paste them in, connect them up to the weapon slot ID. Then we're going to change the weapon slot to third. Then the quick slot index will be the same index that you used when we uh, set our third uh, weapon slot index in the equipment inventory. So for me, that was two. But if yours was three or four, that's what you'd put here. Next, we're going to go to the, or well, first we'll compile. Then we'll go to the class settings. Uh, sorry, not class settings, class defaults. Then we're just going to search for third. Open up the third weapon slot and just make sure that equipment type is definitely set to third here and your quick slot index is set to the value you want. So for me, that will be two. If yours is, then that's fine. Next, we're going to go back to the content browser and just search for SGK controller. Open that up. And in here, we're going to select the BP player inventory over in the details panel, search for third and open up the third weapon slot. You can see that its equipment type uh, is not correct. So what we're going to do is just click this little default arrow and that should set it to your third value. Then we can just compile and save this. Next, we're going to go back to the showcase and hit play. Now you may still have some errors, you may not. If you do have the errors, that's fine. We're going to just click cancel and we're going to search for the character component. Open that up, compile it. Then we're going to go to the master range weapon. Open that up and just compile it. And you can see that the errors just disappear. So that's good. If we hit play now, we should have one less error. Then we're going to go to the cooking component. So we're going to go to cooking, open up the cooking component and compile that. Then we'll hit play and we'll just click on open all whatever blueprints and we'll compile them and go to the, this is the uh, master cooking build part. Then we'll go to the master crafting build part and compile that. You should see all the errors are gone. Just as a side note, if you have any errors in your player inventory component, you can see I don't have any, um, or your equipment inventory. If you have any uh, errors in there, then you can go to the master inventory, open that up, compile it, then go to your um, equipment inventory, compile that, and then go to your player inventory and compile that and it should get rid of any errors that you might have. So now we should be able to hit play and you can see we've got our character and our third weapon slot. The next step is we actually need to make an item that can use our third weapon slot. So for that, I'm gonna to go to item list, open that up. And in here, I'm just gonna find the ax. And with the ax selected, I'm gonna to go to the holdable details and we've got holdable slots. And these are the slots that, that weapon can be equipped to. So you can see it can be equipped to both primary and secondary. I'm going to add a new one and set this to third like that. Now we can go back to our showcase, hit play. I'm just going to run over and pick up our axe. I'm just going to grab a backpack quickly. Pick that up and we should be able to drag that to our third slot. You can see it's highlighted on our um, three quick slot and we can unequip it as well. Now you may notice if we equipped it to our third slot, we can't actually see our axe anywhere on our character. But if we unequip and equipped it to our secondary slot, we can see it on our back. Now that's because we haven't set a slot for our third slot to actually use on our character. So we can do that now. First, we'll go to the item list 
and with our uh, weapon axe selected here, we can go to holdable slot sockets. You can see that we've got a slot, a socket set for our primary and secondary slots, but we don't have one for third. So we'll click add element. Then we're going to set the slot to the third, and we're going to set the socket name to third socket, like that. And I'm just going to copy this name to make sure I get the exact same name. Then we'll head over to our character's skeleton. So for me, that's going to be in the meshes, skeletal, and I'm just going to scroll down till we see the mannequin skeleton here. If you've got a custom skeleton for your character, you'll need to go to that. Then I'm going to find where we've got, you can see our secondary socket, primary socket, and they're attached to our spine three. You can attach yours to whatever you want. I'm just going to do mine to the same bone. So I'm going to right click, do add socket. Then with our slot socket selected, I'm just going to rename it to the same name that we used in the item list like that. And then we can set this socket's location and its rotation to whatever we want. So I'm just going to sort of stick mine here. Obviously you can put yours wherever you like. Then we'll save this, hit play, and I'll go and grab our axe quickly. Just grab a backpack and pick up our axe. Now if I equipped it to the third slot, you can see that it's now attached to that socket when it's in our weapon slot. And an easy way to adjust your axe is actually if we um, if we tab out of our controls here, we can go to the mannequin. I'm just going to drag it sort of here so we can see it while we're playing in game. You can actually adjust your socket during gameplay so you can see the axe updates. So you can spend some time getting it exactly where you want it to be. So if you wanted it something like that, you could do that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.